Which grade do you want to do first? Let's start with 11. Okay. And let's even start with uh, this. The key to analysis is to move from what is wrong to why it's wrong and how to teach anew. Let's see this occur in 11th grade English class that is currently reading Macbeth. In this clip, the teacher and department chair are meeting about the results on the last critical reading assessment, where students struggled deciphering difficult reading passages. The teacher has given them strategies for comprehension, but they haven't worked. Watch how the analysis meeting evolves. I think those can always be brushed up, um, but I, I wonder if those, I, I feel like those aren't enough. I feel, I feel like, you know, they're using those strategies that are getting so far and then they hit with this passage that they're not really comprehending and, and what I've given them isn't enough yet to push them over the bar. So what happens when they hit something they don't understand? Beth just used a data focusing question, pushing Steve to analyze what could be done. Steve runs with it. Well, I mean, we could say something similar to what we've told them in Macbeth when they hit something that they don't exactly, understand. Yeah. Um, I mean, we look for, for key phrases or words that give us some kind of idea, and we know that, that we may not understand everything in that, but we can, we can at least highlight those words and use it to give us sort of a foothold of what the general gist is. Is, the, is this something that's positive or negative? Uh, you know, what were the senses around it that we did understand? You know, could this fit within the context? I could give them some activities even uh, while we finish up Macbeth where I remove I'm trying to think, we, 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 could, we could create some activities around sort of trying to figure out what difficult line, I can pick passages deliberately that are really, really, really hard and remove even their, their notes, you know, that they come in the book on the side where it defines Shakespearean terms that they're not going to know. Say, okay, you know, you're not going to know this, but you know this part, you know the part after it, so what can we figure out? We could, we could do sort of like a Shakespeare sandwich um, and try something like that in terms of the literature that we're doing right now and in terms of the exams, I think it's, it's probably applying a similar skill. Right, so let's be explicit if okay. we do that with the Macbeth. So they've landed this strategy into a concrete action step that Steve is writing down to implement in the following week's lesson. Maybe we could do that with that five this, this coming week. And it might be, what I'm thinking is, could we follow the Macbeth activity with an SAT passage that to make, make explicit that what you're doing with Shakespearean language that is giving you trouble can be a similar, you can use similar strategies when you hit troublesome passages on SAT. So let's see how that works. Now, should I choose SAT passages? In just two minutes, we moved from the what, comprehension struggles, to the why, difficult passages stop them from the larger comprehension to the action, applying strategies used in understanding Macbeth to unfamiliar passages. Okay. Here Beth begins summarizing the core action steps. So one strategy is to pull out the key phrases and get a general gist of things. In this way, Steve leaves with an adjusted, concrete action plan that can make the difference in reading results for his students.